Hello viewers, it's a great Sunday. Um, I should be outside, but I've got things to do inside to uh, finish out my, or actually start my week um, off great. And this is an unofficial uh, mail call. It's a non-YouTube mail call, but it's so special and it, it uh, I feel so strongly about about this that I just wanted to share with you. Um, I've been watching uh, ads on YouTube for um, Riveter, our Riveter handbags, and I'm a crossover type of gal. I like to have my hands free and whatever, so I've been looking for um, another bag that has a little bit more room than what I'm using, although the one I've been using I bought at a, a local uh, thrift store that supports the uh, schools over in Granby, um, but it's just not, I just need something a little bit bigger. So this ad kept popping up in my Instagram feed and I went on their website and uh, started checking them out and I liked a lot of them um, but not all of them were crossover bags so I just you know like continued to watch and when I was on there looking I found out that each bag is has a name and the name it represents a woman of history in the US I forgot to state that the bags are made in the United States. They have a factory in uh, Florida, which I double checked my label, and it did come from Florida. So the bag that I have chosen, uh, because uh, it fits, it's a cross, crossover body, and um, it's camouflage, not, wouldn't have been my first choice, however, it fit within my budget, whatever. And so that came yesterday, and here it is. It's got a uh, camo and this uh, snaps down here. And the thing that struck me and impressed me besides the name um, of this bag, which is called, I'll tell you that real quick here, which is called The Hobby. And it was inspired by Mrs. Ovetta Culp hobby, wife of a former Texas governor. Uh, she published books on parliamentary law. She served as the chief of the Women's Division of Bureau of Public Relations in the War Department and was founder of the Women's Auxiliary Army Corps. She uh, became the director of the FSA, Federal Security Administration, and was the first secretary of the Department of Health and Welfare, Health, Education and Welfare. Mrs. Hobby was the second woman in history to ever hold a U.S. cabinet position. I thought that was really cool. So my bag is called The Hobby. The second thing that I love about this company and the bags is they are all made in the United States. They're put together in a factory in Florida. And the third thing I love about uh, this company that I read about is that all the hardware, this piece and, and this tag here, um, the hardware on the straps, are put together by uh, 24 different military spouses. Not necessarily women, but military spouses. And the idea behind it is that it's hard for a spouse to get a job uh, when they keep relocating. Um, the uh, time on a base or in an area is probably about maybe two years, three years, and employers like to have a little bit more longevity. So this company, R. Riveter, uh, has military spouses that put together these pieces and then they're shipped to Florida where they're put together in the bag. And in my particular case, on this yellow label is, and you aren't going to be able to see it because I can barely see it, but it says the label, the ID number of the person that put this together. And on their uh, website, you can find out who these people are. And my particular person is a woman named Danielle, and she it lives in Maryland. 
Um, so that makes her a remote worker. Um, the two co-founders of the company, uh, Lisa Bradley and Cameron Cruz, started their company and then were invited to go on Shark Tank back in 2016 and actually got three offers out of the panel of uh, sharks and they took Mark Cuban's offer and his investment was $100,000. So from there they've just continued on and on. They've got um, their Riveters, which I think is kind of cool also. This card is the front of it and it's that rosy riveter silhouette type that um, uh, you know women went to the factories during the wars filled in for the men till the men came back and they don't hire military spouses to make the bags we make bags to hire military spouses and it allows women slash spouses to have a mobile flexible income to take with them wherever they may be living and they uh, have 24 of them I think is what I read on the website at this time so I am thrilled to death I'm very proud to have this bag um, it's I'm not going to say how much it was but it's the most expensive bag I've ever had but it's I love it and it just coming from a military family being married to a former military person having uh, one of my sons in the military it's it means a lot it means a lot and um, I'm always very thankful for their service and in this way I feel that I'm helping um, the service the military spouses by buying this bag and uh, helping them with their mobile transit income. So if you have a chance to check out this company and wait for a sale if it's more than what your budget can handle, it's www.rrivetr.com. And even if you don't buy anything, it's just kind of awesome to go in there and read the stories about the inspiration, uh, inspirational American women that they've chosen to name bags after. So, hope your Sunday's good. I'm looking forward to, and I usually try not to date my videos, but it is Super Bowl Sunday, Kansas City Chiefs. I'm set. I'm going to sew while I'm watching the game, and I hope you guys have a great day.